Hello and welcome to this reaction of NCIS here on season two, episode 16. And I am loving the heck out of this show. Uh, it's really fun. I know I say this a lot, but just the cast, the way they work together is fantastic. And the writing is so good. Uh, last episode caught me for a loop. I, it got me. I, I thought it was, you know, the, the husband or the wife or the husband's best friend or wife wasn't. It was the guy that literally they said threatened to kill him. And uh, it, it was funny watching McGee get poked at again by Tony and Kate. It's just, it's fantastic that the relationship those three have with each other. And really funny watching McGee not listen to Tony and then get Poison Ivy all over him and it become a, a through line. So that being said, let's get to the show. Have some fun. That feels very much like a setup. Which would be tattling. No, going to employee relations is not tattling. It's the adult version of I'm telling mommy. You're so juvenile. I'm not. Or so. I'm not. <laughs> you two are ridiculous. We need an unofficial mediator. Did you try Gibbs? Oh. Uh, yes, I see your point. We thought of McGee. But we have no respect for him. I said that you would entrust your relationship to me. It will be rather like uh, marriage counseling. Oh, oh, let's not use those words. <laughs> and Ducky, it is only a working relationship. So you'll do it? Of course. I would relish the experience. Yes, I, I studied psychology at the University of Edinburgh under Professor O'Donnell. Okay. I mean, there is clearly a latent sibling rivalry being expressed by your adolescent and sexually charged bickering. It all stems from a desperate desire to please a father figure. And what? I think we all know who that is. What does this have to do with my tuna fish sandwich? There's no father figure, Dad. <laughs> Trying to quit. This is a suspect. Willie Taylor, Tens Bar at Sugar Street. We're processing him now. Okay, Doc. Ura. Stab to death. Oh, I think that's a safe assumption. Although I found something around her nares. Show him, Jimmy. Do I have nares, Jimmy? <laughs> McGee, see if you can trace the source of that 911 call. On it. Or was it by 30? Yeah, she may have been moved. Suspect said he flipped her. Boss, I don't know if you want to see this, but you probably should. That's some night. There's got to be three condoms in there. Bag them. Get them to Abby. Spoke to Mandy. Oh, come on. You're not going to tell Ducky about that, are you? Yes, I am. I'm keeping a journal. I suppose that knife wasn't your knife. No, it wasn't. I actually carry a Swiss Army knife. How many drinks do you have? Oh, uh, like two or three. Your blood alcohol level was 0.12 percent. And uh, look, she's not the girl that I slept with. What was Amanda's last name? She didn't say. Phone number. I didn't get it. Look, it all went down kind of fast. All right. I gave her a kiss. Whoop de whoop. And then it's back to my place to make some noise. Anybody see you two can verify your story. Yeah. Nope. No. Not just the inside. Shut up. I want to make sure the outside DNA is tested and matches that of Petty Officer Amanda King. The suspect claims he went to bed with one woman and woke up with another. That happens to girls, too. At night, some guy seems all dark and gnarly, and then you wake up and his tattoos are fake and he works at a bank. <laughs> I used to work at a bank. Your tat is real, and you don't disappoint me. Did your sister know a Willie Taylor? Not that I know, but then she's been at sea for eight months. He's not a sailor. You have a twin? Is that who stabbed my little girl? Now yeah, he's a suspect, sir. You will burn him! Won't you, Agent Gibbs? Yeah. Which makes what I'm about to tell you difficult to hear. <laughs> my daughter is dead. What's worse than that? We found drugs Are you raising this? That's a lie. Amanda never did drugs in her life. Well, I'm sorry, but that is what we found. I don't believe it. Won't. Okay. There is no way Petty Officer King had sex with Willie Taylor. So he's telling the truth? Willie was set up. Oh, 
it an accidental overdose. Now, in cases like this, where such a frighteningly high amount of the drug is found, I would say it was a suicide. Boss, Willie Taylor's here. Interesting. You know why Norfolk PD delivered you here? Can I get, like, an apology or nothing? You get the slide on using methamphetamines. <laughs> I, I don't know. That's not good enough. I, 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 wait, 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 wait. You would need to get this thing off fast. And shut Sugar Street down in the process. Yeah, that's the kind of stunt that limey bastard would pull, too. Ian Hitch, hmm. a.k.a. Bulldog, American mother, English father, dual citizenship. According to Scotland Yard, he was charged with murder. W-2 forms and names like Tiffany Glitter and Stormy Weathers, they don't appear on driver's licenses. Boss, I really think I should take the lead. The lead on this one. <laughs> uh. Oh, yes. All right. It's looking good. Next. Awesome. Just being thorough. Sure you are. That's it. The seat. Jay! You don't you don't make an entrance like that if you're not involved in this. Oh, sister. Hmm. Taking your sister's death pretty hard, Jade. What are you doing here? The question is, what are you doing here? We're just talking. Well, not no more, you. I, yeah, I think we are. My partner, Lulu, she wants to sign Jade to a record contract. Bulldog ain't gonna like that. Ooh. Uncle Toast, candy pants, stay behind your mommy here. Where'd Bulldog get his name? When he gets his teeth into a girl's ass. <laughs> he never lets go. Gosh, those guys were big. Big, 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 big. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, she's cute. <laughs> yeah, she's hot. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I, I sleep with a lot of women, so... I wouldn't know anything about that, Willie. I'm a Mormon. Oh. The smell. Ugh, I feel like I died and woke up in a Calvin Klein ad. I thought you were a Mormon. Concentrate, Willie. Ah. <laughs> ah. Yeah. She had a tat. <laughs> How could I forget? <laughs> what did it look like? It was of a bulldog. It was... It was right there on her ass. Agent Todd took that photo. It is of your rear end. You always get the best jobs. Willie described it perfectly. I dance practically naked. Hundreds of guys have seen my ass. So you didn't sleep with him two nights ago? No. Willie says he's never been to your club. You know what? Overdose was usually suicide, but then I got to thinking. Always a good thing. I mean, that mark was made by the end of a hard round tube, like the end of a funnel. You don't commit suicide by mm. pouring meth through a funnel into your nose. No. It was a horrible, painful death. Huge surge of new clientele. But that isn't why it happened, is it, Samantha? It would not surprise me if she's in on this. It just wouldn't. Our mom died when I was three, Agent Todd. Amanda practically raised me. When she found out I was working for Hitch, she lost it. I don't have to. What are you doing, love? Some shopping, baby. Really? Looks like I haven't spot tea to me. If he finds out you're a cop, I am dead. So tell me, what lab was your scout for? <laughs> well, that's none of your business. Oh, but it is if you're off to my property. See him squeezing her hand? Not holding it, that's squeezing it. Is she available? 
You just threaten an agent. Unwillingly, unknowingly. Hmm. You should have had backup yesterday, Kate. Well, I didn't expect Hitch to show up, Gibbs. Yeah. It won't happen again. I know. Dead. Norfolk Homicide found the body of a young woman. She had my card in her bra. We just ID'd her. Keisha Scott. Looks like a hit and run, Gibbs. Her club named Summer Diamond. She was in our interrogation room yesterday. Right. Hey, I've been down this road before, Gibbs. I bring him in for questioning. His lawyer will have him out before lunch. I got a better idea. Yeah? Yeah. You turn jurisdiction over on this to me this time. Okay. You got it. Hmm? How soon can you get the rest of your team here? Oh, pretty soon. I don't think so. Why? Well, uh, there are no skid marks before or after the body. Whoever hit her didn't even slow down. Kate, take the nose and pick up Samantha. Make sure her cell phone's off. Don't tell her about Summer. A friend. Is that Willie? Nope. <laughs> Willie's next. Oh, God, Summer. Do. It's happening because of you. Why wouldn't it happen to you? Either charge me with something or I'm out of here. Now. You're making a big mistake, Samantha. Once you walk out those doors, we can't protect you. Boss, Hitch has got a very good alibi for a mixture of methamphetamine and alcohol in her blood. Of course. Well, not enough to kill her like a petty officer. What about the bruising? Well, these bruises here on her arms were made by somebody holding her tightly. I wish I could tell you more. Yeah, Doc. So do I. Jethro, there is a procedure, Abby. Thank you. I need a nephrov. Tony, there were a dozen in here. They're really delicious. Okay, what do you have for me? A way to keep tabs on Samantha King's. He's gonna take the cookie. Us. Uh, I think that one was for Nozo. Just trying to help out, boss. He's gonna eat the cookie now. <laughs> That's not right. McGee, Abby needs help. Tony, Kate, you're with me. Where are we going? Uh. Norfolk. I'm gonna pay Ian Hitch a visit. What about blowing our covers, talent scouts? Samantha is leaving with us. She changed her mind. I got it. I I'm sorry, it's my fault. <laughs> my fault. Uh -oh. um, okay, you know, I, I think that this would be, be better if I just did this by myself. It's only trying to observe. <laughs> okay. Uh oh. You can let go of my arms now. Right. Uh, I, I'm stuck here. Uh. Paul, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> McGee? Acetone and band-aids. Fast! I'm tracking her GPS signal. Oh my goodness. Samantha she did that earlier with like the piece of paper. Thanks, Abby. Yeah, they got a print off Summer's body. It's the bouncer from outside the club the other night. <laughs> Jay, Buddha wants to see you. You okay, sweetheart? Seems that Lulu isn't a talent scout after all. She's a Navy cop. Huh. How'd you get that I info? No, Ian. I swear. What did you tell him? Did I kill your sister? I'm gonna guess the bouncer stuck up for the girl. But he's going to prison. He dead dead. He was gonna kill her. I didn't have a choice. Drop it. Billy Taylor. Nope. The weird thing is, I did get a near match from the Armed Forces DNA registry. He was set up by a sailor. I'm gonna make you proud, Daddy. Just like you were of Amanda. Set your sister up. 
Are we going to split the money with Blue? Or record a demo with it? We know, Samantha. Your big sister told us. Or more appropriately, her DNA. There's a 70% match of the DNA found on the condoms in Willie Taylor's apartment. Only a sibling. Oh, which is close. We also close enough to be a sibling. Phone, Samantha. Go say goodbye to your father. If I were you, I'd keep lying to him. Ooh. Always believed in you. Even when your sister didn't. <laughs> right, she's gonna be famous, just not in the way you expect. That's right, Daddy. Had a feeling. Something fell off about her. The very beginning. But uh Ooh. Okay. Good. And there were a lot of twists in this one. You know, the guy set up at the beginning, set up for, you know, different reasons, but they ended up being the sister and the bouncer working together. They just got unlucky in that timing, and NCIS was too close and found out. Glad they did. No reason to do that, man. Go kill your sister just because she wants you to out of that horrible situation. You think she was messing with your life. Some people can be so stupid. Good episode, though. It's I love the running gag of them messing with with McGee. I love the the proby the the fun they they have with with him. Even though he brings a a dynamic to the team that allows them to do a lot of high tech stuff that the other two just aren't like capable of doing. I mean, Abby is, but Abby's busy doing forensics, you know, so they need that person in the field that can do the things McGee can, and it helps solve a lot of cases. And it's just so fun watching them poke fun at each other. And I hope they keep this, this running joke of them talking to Ducky for a couple episodes. I really hope we see it for a couple episodes going forward because it's too funny, too funny. This, he said the sibling rivalry, trying to impress a dad, the pent up sexual frustrations that each have as you know older siblings. Just ducky, you are you are the man. But again, good episode. I'm gonna wrap it here. I got nothing else to say. Like, share, subscribe. Comment below. You can find me on Discord. And until next time, take care.